is it very important, by the way, when we talk about code reading, to uh, bring up ethical issues. And there's one important ethical issue which I should, should have warned you right away. When I taught you how to do code readings last lecture, I should have warned you also that don't run out and, and do it and, and compete with other people doing it. You'll be better than they are, but it's also a dangerous thing to do. If you're doing a reading, even for fun, remember people take it seriously. Even when it's a party or something like that, they can take it seriously. And I could lots of examples to demonstrate that. People who were told, but someone's reading a poem and by someone just an amateur playing with it and said, you got a very short lifeline. And these people worried for the most of their life they're going to die soon, you know. Uh, so you can, little things like that can bother people. Uh, the other thing about the ethics of doing readings is that uh, among mentalists and people who, uh, who are cold readers, uh, there's a big fight about should you do them or not even. And you have to realize that when you're doing a psychic reading uh, or a cold reading, you are essentially dealing with fire, you're dealing with psychology. People's, it works because people want to believe these things, but also everyone has problems and stuff like that. And inadvertently, you can give them wrong information. Poor man's a psychologist. Right, yes. And it turns out that many of my colleagues in that psychic entertainers business, they found they made more money by giving up doing stage shows and just giving private readings. Because that's where the money was. And unfortunately, I got worried about these people because they're not trained psychologists. Uh, people can be suicidal, as Barbara might tell you. And it takes, it's very hard for even a specialist to know that, but uh, people coming off the street who are just magic magicians and stuff like that, now doing private readings with no training whatsoever, it could be very dangerous to have someone and not recognize that they're suicidal, not knowing to get them off to the right areas. So it can be a very dangerous thing to play with. And um, uh, even though I'm teaching you how to do it, I showed you how to do it, I wanted to get across the power of it and how it works. At the same time, I want to warn you that you got to be careful when you do it. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So. Uh